since it was trucking Tuesday that I got three days left so we're back at truck testing right now so if we're gonna be such a going for a wild work so much maybe I'm in the Peter bit dealership and looks like we're gonna get out of here everywhere so we're gonna go on to our work so many many minutes later where later I just move into another one so if I just rejoin for myself, I just move currently another one as well. So let's get working for this Kenworth W900. Looks like I'm not able to find everyone for... We're going to be doing for some concrete cargo. So I not cannot able to do so. It feels like it's pretty real like the SCP. So we're not going to be doing for a cooler cargo. If I just spawn a cooler cargo, which is... It will touch the ground and it possibly going glitch itself. So that's what happens. If that won't able to do so, it might won't able to move at all. It's just kind of just a bit of worse for just something like reasons. I can open the door and get inside with this truck. And let's close that and let's get around into everywhere as well. So I'm not going to be doing such a bad thing or something. I need to start it harder. Oh, but I guess it's a little bit not kind of worse as well. So I need to choose any manual system. It's just going for an onboard view. So let's press F. Maybe I should able to can start. So here we go. So we're going to be getting around and let's get out of this city. And we're unable to find somewhere. Now I need to use the left control for something. And I can do for slower things, just like I cannot able to do. And looks like this truck is accelerating too fast, but I need to get on board for this. And I just ran into a stop sign because of this kind of the toys glitch. So I'm at in and pressing V for this one because I'm probably gonna get in start for this one. And I'm not going to be doing something like that. And I'm going for on reverse as well. And let's stop here and just not wait for going green for something like else until I just block any traffic or some sort of like this. Five minutes later. So I'm here in this current place that I actually spawned to L Angels, which is I'm going to be for just slowing down for something like else, even for just a cooler container for road tripping. So let's get right there to the paint station until the red light goes. Until that I'm not going to do so, it feels like a little bit weird. But until we're just going to green light as well. So i just feeling a little bit not kind of worse. Just let's go to be paint for some truck or something. So let's go to be painting one at a time until I'm going to be choosing one color at the same time. For just we're going to be entering for just only one paint at a time. So this is only one this way. But a shift to the first gear as well, so you're just gonna be doing a primary paint. Wait a second, this is gonna be using for just only one. I'm gonna be choosing for only one primary paint at a time, so the sun just about to go went down, so we're just gonna be using the color green itself. So we're gonna be choosing like this one, and we just about to see what happens if I'm going to be pulling inside of this one maybe I should go to be able to do so and another one is gonna be using for the secondary paint even for the doors and it's absolutely the night time so I need to turn all the lights on that I could able to get them so now I need to accelerate pull more than I need to get for so just for full RPM then they have to get inside the truck and where are the secondary paints are go maybe I just won't able to find out but there must be the other way that I try to do so it feels like a little bit weird <laughs> and I absolutely I might able to get swear for this until I get primary colors as well, so I'm such a bad driver at this. 
once the truck has all painted up so let's move on to the canworth dealership right there so i'm just gonna be slowing down for just a little bit but it's just gonna be finding out with some other stuff and kind of able to find with some gas stations or something but looks like the truck feels i'm running low on fuel which is i'm going to be waiting for a lot of minutes and by itself for this time and just a little bit for passing the stop sign against well but I might absolutely going to get pulled over and let's get right here to the Kenworth dealership as well so the Kenworth dealership another one as well so I cannot able to find until I ran into the stop sign before I'm gonna do that let's start the warehouse before I shift there to the one gear and let's get around here for shifting for the first gear and Let's get around here and even I'm gonna be doing for backwards itself And looks like this truck won't able to go backwards correctly at all. It's just not doing something like that It feels is not gonna be such a very weird with this and looks like this truck Is not going to be moving so going backwards correctly and looks like I doing such a very wrong side of this way even though I'm gonna be moving so much loads of one. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be pulling so whatsoever. It feels not gonna be feels such a pretty weird or something like this. I'm cannot able to move it perfectly as well, so maybe I need to take a few more minutes to go. Almost there. And almost there. And we just got and done it. So let's open the door back and I cannot see inside of this one so i just jump out of the truck and just going to get some loads so we just have a loads of cargo right there and but sometimes we're going to start here from the warehouse to the market warehouse as well so we're not doing for just a sawmill and if i just gotten for the woods from these kind of a lumber work to sawmill and let's get right here inside the truck so I cannot able to see some doors as well because I just cannot see inside with these trucks. So I might able to jump inside the truck because there must be a one door or something. And let's just change into manual gear. But I'm not able to see with some controls. Once everything is all loaded up so let's continue right down into the streets. And looks like I'm just gonna be passing the stop sign after 60 seconds or just two to three minutes Well, I'm never going to be stopping for a same time and looks like we're going heading out for the market warehouse But looks like I'm going to be unloaded cargo by itself Which means I'm going to remain itself for just having a lot of money or something. So let's get right there to the warehouse we're almost there, but I'm required that I feel I'm running out of fuel. So let's take a wait for a, just a few minutes to go. So I just got to be passing one thing. But overall, that I just completely got to be something to wait for against five minutes. And I can stem that I'm going to get some fuel for just later for on. And looks like that I still need to get some gas pump and just taking for a quite a bit pricing for just something like else let me get inside the truck cabin and looks like we're at the market warehouse so we just arrive here in the market warehouse by itself just wait that I'm not going to feel anything that not but worse for something like here so maybe in there for the first video that I'm going to be something like this and I can't able to get throwback for it something like else it's not gonna be something weird like this. It feels like it's a little bit worse. But nothing that I'm not going to try to able to retry. But I think it's far more impossible to try to go backwards with a trailer with this one. I'm unable to park it perfectly so let's unload the cargo. Before I'm not going to load the cargo or something so let's get around here. If we're gonna be back here to this a Canworth dealership and everything just unload the cargo so I'm going to get back here in the dealership in Canworth dealership before I can end this video this way there it goes again since in part one 
So looks like since back in Trucking Tuesday, looks like I just gassed myself in for just now. But I think so that I'm going to be going for truck testing remastered by itself. And looks like I'm so very stuck at this moment. So I need to just back it up a little bit and just move in a little bit forward until it might get stuck again. But looks like I'm unable to get stuck right here, so it's just going to be back up a little bit. And just going to take with some gases for something for the diesel ones. And just I'm going to be moving a little bit, and I cannot able to park it perfectly in the gas station as well. So instead I just feel something a little bit worse, but I just cannot able to do so. So let's try to get for some gas pump for something for just reason to get some diesel in order to run this truck even for the last longer as you can see at behind of the gas station there was the parking school which is where that you're gonna be learned from until until the next Tuesday but I'm going to be learning with this out before I'm just going to be doing this right now so the truck has been refueled already so let's get back right there until I start this truck up until I'm going to be pressing the letter F as well. So I'm just going to be driving a little bit much. Let's go for pressing a letter F. And just let's start getting back into just only one for just only well. But until morning, I'm just going to get right there. And I'm just not going to get back right there into this gas station. I mean, it was going to be going for Peter Pitt station. I mean the dealership as well, so let's get right there to the dealership at fast before morning. Now I can see the Canworth dealership right there, so until I just going for one last stop for just one stop sign for just now. So I just still need to keep on by itself for just over one minute as well, so we're almost there until it was absolutely morning when I started that this video. So I shift down to second gear. And probably I cannot able to get right there to the dealership at all. But it's just going to be staying right there. And just I'm going to be feeling so a little bit for it's just for late. And I just feel a little bit late until I just turn off the lights. But I just feel pretty late for something like else. For, so we're not doing for just right now. So I'm just going to be shifting to third gear. And let's get right there to dealership at once. Uh, and I'm probably gonna be saying that I'm gonna be ending this video right in the Canworth dealership as well. So until the part 4 comes, that I'm going for just for a long ride to go. And looks like we just have been arrived in the Canworth dealership and I cannot able to park it perfectly like that. And looks like I'm going to be parking right there until I despawn this truck. Well, maybe that's it for this video right now, so I hope you enjoy. So if I'm going to be deleting this vehicle, which is I'm unable to spawn with some trucks. So anyways, thanks for watching. And if you enjoy for this video, for please make sure you like and subscribe. And you remember to please make sure this game is linked in description below that I'm near inside of this office. But instead, I'm in the gas station. I mean... I'm in the dealership of Canworth itself. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you appreciate it for somewhere. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And this is Turbo Concept signing off.